Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to the Mystery Kings Vanguard channel and judging by the playmat, you can guess who's, who's with me today. Yes, hi. Uh, VG Xia, obviously. Yes. Um, I'm ready to do a RP, Escopate deck profile. Uh, this deck does not belong to me, but it belongs to VG Xia himself. Yes, but so, he modded it, so it's technically his build yeah, the, by my cards. <laughs> yeah, so basically I've been testing around this build on CFA for a bit and... It's actually a pretty weird build, it's like... It's the flavor feels completely different from what you got from BT01, but yeah, let's just gonna do explanation explanation and don't mind the, the, the playmat. I didn't bring my Deno out, so yeah. Starter Glime, only one you can be running. Hot stem! <laughs> I have no idea how many times I emphasize that one thing, the only starter you can be running is standard in my channel too often already. Hey, yeah. that's good, eh? I like it. Eh? It's much more consistent. Eh? Dude. No, because you see standard, right? If you run different starters, right? It's with hey, different hey. abilities, right? It might give the change to game pay. If hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. One is there. There's one, okay, of all starter to rework, they, why did they choose Glime? They could choose Stardust Trumpeteer, they does, could choose Bark yeah, Gow. doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's fine. Okay, very trivial. Okay, doesn't matter. Yeah, so, moving on. Uh, yeah, off point. Main. Hits. <laughs> okay, okay, so sorry, guys. Okay, uh, main. New man to the deck. Uh, Escort Plate the Blasters. Okay. Basically, his skills are on attack, you are counter, counter blast one. No, on attack, okay. on right first. Oh, Alright, it's a mandatory skill. So basically, uh. It's a mandatory skill. It's, 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 it's a cost it? there. It's a cost. If you want to pay the cost, it's up to you. But the second skill is mandatory. Okay, okay let me explain the skill since you okay. don't know. Okay. okay. On right, counter blast one, choose one card from your soul, remove all other cards from your soul except for that card. And then when this unit attacks, it attacks uh, every the whole opponent's skill in one attack. And then the second skill is at the end of the battle that this unit attacks. You retire this unit, choose two cards from your hand, put it to soul, your soul, and then, then write Blaster Blade from soul. If you cannot write Blaster Blade, you, you lose, lose the game. Haha, okay. <laughs> auto win con. But it doesn't matter, but it's against you. Okay, um, I'm running this at 2 because from my from my testing, it's post Escort Blade. The moment you write into Blaster Blade the next turn, yeah, basically a sitting duck. Sitting on a 10k body is not fun playing against any deck, especially the Excel. And. That's the thing about it, but other than that, it gives you what Brawler did back in the day, which is Narukami, if you guys were around back then. So, basically, your, your way of bo clear, clearing board, yeah. And, and let, let's not forget, when you write Blaster Blade from Soul, it has a crit as well, so... I running at... Got okay, right running right. at 2, but from what I hear from BG Shai is to choosing running at 3, I think he's focusing on his, that as his wing con, but for, for me personally, it's a way to... Gain back a bit of momentum if like you realize you're playing against XL Clan, namely Murakumo in the current meta for Singapore. If you see like whole whole board of Musashis, uh arrestor, left arrestor, right arrestor, you just wanna wipe everything off. So that's the idea. Um Okay, that's about it for Escobar. I'm running at two, so not your main wing con, but it is still a wing con but not your main one. Next is so saver, running at three. Uh Okay, comparing this to what we had for BTO one is that Soul Saver was your finisher back in the day, uh, back in the day, so like a few months ago. Yeah, basically the idea of this deck is getting the Soul Saver as, as a first right, first right, and you're supposed to pull off the Soul Blast Five skill as as early as possible and push them to high damage count. Then you can follow it up by Escoplate together with Blast Blade to go for the finisher. Uh, that's why if you can, you are, you can may want to run at four, but three is fine for me. And next, 3 alpha early. Um, basically, your... How how I, how I put it? Your... Hmm, your form of recovery, because you are losing 2 cards for putting the soul with escoplate skill. And later on, after you write a blast away from soul, the next turn you can write him. And count blast one, you can call blast play out and draw one. So you net from escoplate skill because you are minusing one. Yeah. I, can't, I choose not to run King Online Alphards because... In Escorpion, this whole build itself, you do not want to see your Blastblade on Rearguard, so... There's, it's one place you don't want, don't want it to be, so it's either Blastblade is in your soul or your hand, or in the deck, even better. Um, that's why I find King of Knights Alfred not really necessary in this build, but if you don't intend to play an Escorpion engine, then King of Knights is a staple, it's a must-have. Uh, next for Blaster Blade, being VG Shihai, he's a rich, he's a richest guy. Hey, oh, oh, I put oh. that Moira Blaster, uh, that, that Iron Man oh. three packs, boy. Okay, uh, I want Iron Man two different, uh, child, child deck, OR, which I still think OR is the best looking. Uh, yeah, OR is the best. I obviously. Okay, so basically for this, there's not much to explain. It's a staple in any Blaster deck, be premium or standard. It's a 4 of running anything than, than that. I mean, I have seen players that are playing one Blaster Blade in the whole deck, but that was back in G. 
So it doesn't matter. Uh, I know, yeah, I know. we know who we are talking about. Yes. Aha. Uh-huh. So four of that. The main base of the deck. Once you once it's exhausted, same thing as my pre- as my premium deck. Once it's out, your other deck is out. Maybe Soul Saber can still save your ass. So yeah. Next is the four Akane. So as mentioned earlier, you need your Soul Saber to pump up your soul, your five soul to use the skill as early as possible, and Akane there do it for you. So yeah, gonna be running four. Still a staple as com- from previously. And next is Bannon. Uh, for those Sengga players back in the day, remember him for Counter Plus One call a crit, call six K base from the deck. So plus one draw one, yeah. But he got reworked. Uh, now his skill is on place. You may s- okay. You may reveal and escalate the blaster from your hand, and you send it back to deck, and you can search your deck for it. After you add it to hand. So similar to what the first Gansalot did for Blaster Blade, but in another way. Like as I said, you the idea is you. Okay, this deck is more of. There's a few phases to it, so he's there to get your to set up your cards for your final phase, I guess. That's one way to put it. Running grade two count at eleven, which is kind of dangerously low. But if you don't really like the grade ratios, you can probably afford to drop one king alpha early for one more grade two. Something you can think of. Uh Galatin is a good option. Uh Jaron is a good one as well. And as for grade ones, uh nice quiet island, a card I personally enjoy playing, but Player disagree, so it's a play- it's a personal choice. Uh, if you can focus on the crit that you're getting on Blast on first crit, crit two right, Alan's your best friend for for the job. Basically, you get you get a free cut back to your hand for calling one and plus three. And next is the four Pongo main. They have to work together with Akane, so so blast so, so charging and so blasting main idea of the deck for early stages. And next, Maron I would say is a better version of Alan. Just that it's more consistent. Ellen's on on call. Maron's on. Maron's there for once per turn. So yeah. Okay, wing. That's two. Uh, don't mind. I got an idea of Vijishi because the last two great one slot is really up to you. But after, I mean, he's gonna upload a video for a playtest we did earlier. So basically, the idea of this is putting behind a blaster blade after your escape blade withstand and you have an AK booster together with a plus five K for his own skill, which I find is really effective. And gets help your blast rate make make numbers. So basically, if a example you have two force marker on your blade, uh, thirty k by itself together for a uh, thirteen with his skill and his own boost, yeah, forty three. So makes magic number even against other force clans, which is pretty effective. And okay, four crits. Probably you're gonna start questioning me. Four crits. Why? Um, the thing. Sorry for the glare, but. The main the main thing about the deck is you really you really want to see your pieces as quickly as possible. With I think seeing the trigger line, you are able to see what's the remaining triggers, which is like a total of four draw eight draws. Okay, in order to get your combo plays get going, you need to see a lot of your things. Like example, on first grade to right, ideally you can see blast play even is better. Uh, you can get a draw into Akane even better. Ban on. Can search out escape if you need it. That's why you need to see a lot of pieces to make this whole deck work. But with this deck, you really need to end games very quickly by at most second. Okay, after escape, maybe you can afford to go for one or two models at best. You have to end the game there already. If not, this deck does not have enough shield value to last that long to the late game. And lastly, is the total of four heals. Okay, so just a rough. Layout of how that I'll be running as play in the deck. Uh, Vijisha, any comments you want to give on the deck? Like mm. after play testing yourself. Uh, after play testing, I feel that maybe eight draws. I won't go as far to eight draws. I'll play six six. Maybe six six. Yeah, six six. Yeah, six, six, so. six I think is the more balanced one because if you look at it right, this deck is really really bad in terms of your shield value because mm. you're taking you're sacrificing a fifteen k shield for a five k shield draw trigger, which is fine. Okay. But if you are not playing any Galatis to make up for any shield value, shield value then mm-hmm. it's really, really bricky. Uh, yes, bricky. It's very bad. Uh, you are hmm. running a, uh, a 9 gate trees as well, so not much shield value. Your shield value will go down. Yeah, but in, in, in order to, you know, even if you get a draw, let's just say if you draw into a gate tree, that's bad because it doesn't even offer any shield value. The draw into a gate 2 as well is just an additional 5k shield. You're still using up 5k shield from a crit trigger, which is actually 15k if you think about it. So yeah, I will actually run six six uh, I think that would be the better choice. And maybe you can swap out uh one grade one. You don't have to play four Allens. You can play uh four uh three Allens and 
two 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 Zenon Venom into one and then just Zenon ha ha Zenon and then no 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 Venom ah Venom fine okay. Venom and and Adam you just swap two of them out for two Galatins I think that would be my bet that my oh. my better deck list so yeah. Just my comments about that. But other than that, it's fine. Yeah, it's a, it's a fun deck mm. with 8 draws. Okay, yeah. So, I, that, once again, I would like to thank BG for lending me his deck to this deck profile. You're welcome. Yeah. So, that's about it. Uh, we did a play test earlier with my DP, as usual. The only thing I'll be play testing in standard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, didn't go well. He'll be uploading it soon. It's a two-round game. Spoiler alert. See, first lah. Maybe mm. I'll upload a three round depending yes, on... Yes, depending on whether I have to go home soon or not. <laughs> 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 yeah. Alright, so thank you thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like the video, leave a like, uh, subscribe. And if you... Don't forget to click the bell button. Oh, totally. Oh God. <laughs> Cringy. So I don't yeah. want to ask my subscribers to do that. I just like... Okay, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, so if you can do that, I don't know if you can stay up to date in my channel. So, yeah. And see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.